Okay, welcome back to Double Reno Woodworking. So today I have a couple of accessories that I'm going to add on to my Onefinity CNC. These are more accessories I got from Rowdy Roman. Uh, I got a, and these are all for me, set me up for filming. So what I have is I have an LED light that goes around my router, and then I have a GoPro mount that mounts right there. And these are going to be real simple to hook up. So this thing here, it basically slides up here, and you pull this screw out, and then it comes with another screw that's a little bit longer, and that's pretty much all there is to mounting that thing. So we'll go ahead and pull this screw here out. You just slide that thing up there and line that hole up. Put the replacement screw in there. It's threaded through there. I don't really know why that's threaded. It's not going to cinch up as tight if it wasn't threaded. It'd be better if it was a bushing, but it's okay. I'm just watching that to make sure it gets, yeah, it's back into the second part now, so that screw's plenty long enough. And I'll get both these installed, and then I just have to reroute the cords. If you watched my last video, I told you I had some other cords to route around, so I'll take these and run them up with my power cord, and then back down over my vacuum boom, too, so. And then this thing right here, it's got four holes already mounted right there and they weren't used for anything so this will screw right onto it try and do this where i'm not blocking the camera out too much okay that's as long as that took to install this so this has got a pretty long cord on it that I'll plug into my power strip over there and then uh, I can go ahead and I guess go ahead and mount my GoPro on here so it's got a knob here you loosen it and you can set different heights now these when you pull these off you got to be careful because there's just a little nut right here you got to be careful that I've already dropped one of them. You got to be careful that you don't lose those. Looks like that's threaded through there. So, and then I have my other GoPro here. I'll just slide that in there. Get that lined up right. And then I have a. Uh, power cord because I don't want to worry about my battery dying on this thing so I have a power cord for this GoPro that I'll run along with the power cord for this to over to my power strip and keep it plugged in all the time so whenever this GoPro is going it'll always have a just put your little nut back on there So it'll, the camera will always have power to it. Well, my film will be upside down, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to reset up and we'll run our power cords over there and then we'll turn it all on see what it looks like and then we'll do some filming with this too. Okay, so I have my uh, GoPro charging cord hooked up here, so I'm going to I think I'm just going to take it and run it around and then just zip tie it. It's a big old zip tie, but it'll be fine. I'll zip tie that. I'm going to leave it a little bit long in case I need to adjust it a little bit later. And then I'm just going to run up and I'll come back and zip tie some of these other things too. 
So I'm going to take this, I'm going to run it through. Now you probably can't see it very well, but I'm going to run it through here. Where my cord goes, my power cord for my router goes up along my vacuum hose. Once I, I'm going to run it around a little while, then I'll come back and dress all this stuff out. Okay, so now we got power to this, and I'll come back and I'll dress all this up with some zip ties once I've run it around the table, make sure it all looks right. But, so I got my light on. So you can see the... Oh, that little nut fell out again. Okay, I had to find that nut. But anyway, now you can see the light down there, and then the GoPro. So I'm going to get the GoPro turned on. And then we will uh, start filming with this. Okay, I just wanted to show one more time. So I got my light on and I got my camera adjusted. I got my bit set pretty pretty close to where it's going to be when it's at the point where it's cutting. And then there's my view on my camera. So I'm going to switch cameras and then I'll run this thing around the table a little bit and show you how this thing works. Okay, so that's it. I got my GoPro mount and I got my little LED light ring hooked up. Uh, again, I got these things from Rowdy Roman. Check him out. It's uh, RowdyRoman.com and then his Etsy shop. You can just search Rowdy Roman. He's got lots of really cool accessories for these machines. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share my videos. Thank you.